evening everybody, hope you're doing okay. Nice to see you again, welcome back to my channel once again. This is a bit more of a vloggy one today. I've been doing a lot of kitchen based content, but I thought today I would do just a normal sort of vlog style vlog, you know, going back to the old days. So you get to see a little bit of what life is like in hopefully the final stages of lockdown 3.0, because tonight, I'm just about to watch it now, it's uh, half six right now, and at 7 p.m. Boris Johnson is doing a press conference to talk about the roadmap out of lockdown 3.0. I don't know why I did the air quotes, um, but we, yeah, we're gonna find out tonight, hopefully, how we get out of this thing, <laughs> like what it looks like. Um, and it's been a long time. My YouTube channel pretty much took off in 2020, so inadvertently, without realising I was going to be doing it, I ended up vlogging the year that we were in lockdown. You know, 2020 will always be associated with COVID-19, the pandemic, lockdown after lockdown, restrictions, social distancing, masks, um, you know, all of that stuff will be forever associated with 2020. And I vlogged that whole year, so I've got like a record of it, of what it looked like for, for me, you know, and I'll always be able to look back on, on the memories, not that I would really want to look back on 2020 that much. I want to vlog the whole thing from the day we found out about lockdown 1.0 to the day that I get that jab in my arm and uh, life goes back to normal a little bit. But hopefully tonight we find out that they've got a plan, they've got a journey f to get us out, to get us back to normal. Um, there's been whispers coming through today because obviously Boris Johnson has to go to the House of Commons with everything first and he did that this afternoon and some of the rumours were that life's going to look a lot more normal by the 21st of June this year which is a shame for my sister because her birthday's on the 20th of June. <laughs> so you're like, Amy, you'll have to delay your birthday party by one day. You know, we're all kind of expecting Boris Johnson to sort of go, well, I, 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 I think everything back to normal, you know, wash your hands and all of this. But that was a terrible Boris Johnson impression. I am quite good at some impressions. Boris Johnson is not one of them. My Sean Connery, now that's good. Junior! That's all you're getting. You get that one for free. We were just discussing on the uh, family WhatsApp actually what the difference is between a Boris Johnson is addressing the nation and a daily briefing. And I, I think today it's going to be like a daily briefing vibe, which I prefer because you've got usually got Chris Whitty asking for the next slide. You've got um, you've got questions from the public. This is a lovely segment that I enjoy. And um, the addressing the nation ones are always a bit more, bit more serious. I think you know less room for spontaneity and fun. But you know, and, and oh, and if you've got when you've got the daily briefings as well, you've got Jonathan Van Tam doing his analogies, which are always very, very good. I love a good analogy. Do you know what else I love as well? When they've got the news on, and it's like the, the, they're waiting for Boris Johnson to come to the podium. And then they, they, they do a bit of filler, like they just, they interview somebody else for a bit until Boris Johnson appears. And I love, the thing I love about the daily briefings the most is the moment where they have to interrupt whoever it is they're interviewing and cut quickly to the podium. Because they're right, someone's right in the middle of saying something and it's always, sorry John, we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, we cut to Downing Street, the Prime Minister. That poor person has been booked to come on knowing they're going to get interrupted. It's coming, it's coming. Any minute now they'll be interrupting Vicky Young and cutting to Downing Street. And the Prime Minister, here they are. we go. Good evening and thank you very much for joining us. I can confirm that two weeks from today, Monday the 8th of March, we will begin step one. Then from the 21st of June, we will go to step four and say goodbye to most remaining restrictions. Thank you, Prime Minister. Uh, first slide, please. There it is. First slide, please. 21st of June, 2021, they're anticipating that life in this country will be able to go back to normal, which is big. You know, it's been a long time for all of us, a year up to this point, really, that we've been in some form of restriction. And by the time it ends, you know, you're going on a year and a half of this. So... Yeah, we'll all be looking forward to the 21st of June for sure. It's been so many months of delays and restrictions and stuff and I think we're all fed up of it and it will just be lovely to have some form of life back. You know, I think we're all looking forward to that. And yeah, I can't wait. I need a haircut. They said that, yeah, there's another, there's another 49 days it just said until we can go get haircuts. Although I have got a beard trimmer here now, so in theory I could get Joe to do it. But I think I'll probably just wait. 
Might as well wait, it's only 49 days. I can wear a hat, can't I? Got my cap now, so just wear that. Normality is on its way back eventually. And eventually we're all gonna get vaccinated as well. They're, um, they said the other day, they didn't mention it today, but they're planning on vaccinating all adults um, by the 31st of July. So that's good. And when the vaccine is offered to me, I will definitely be taking it. Um, I would rather uh, take the risk and take it than take the risk in not taking it, if that makes sense. I'm gonna leave it there. Got nothing more to say. The good times are on the way back. Can't chat, can't stop and chat because uh, I've got somewhere I need to be. But obviously in this day and age, you don't need to actually be there. You just need to be there digitally. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. And that place that I need to be in is weirdly the police station. <laughs> I got done for speeding. I was doing 36 in a 30 zone the other day. Hold my hands up and now I need to do a speed awareness course. But I've got to log in within the next four minutes. Otherwise I'll be in even more trouble than I already am. Okay, my speed awareness course is done. It was alright actually, it wasn't too bad. Not too tedious, but you know, tedious enough that I want to do something more fun now. So I'm going to make a banana bread because I've got bananas that look like this. Speckly. Is that the right word? Speckly? But you know what I mean, they've got the brown sort of spots all over them. But apparently that's the best sort of bananas for banana bread, so I'm going to make one. This isn't like a banana bread video, banana bread tutorial or anything like that. I did do one of those a long time ago, so I do have one of them on this channel, if you're here for that. Um, but I am just going to make a banana bread, have a bit of a tidy up. Um, I need to put some washing away and different things like that. Um, but yeah, this, this is me, this is me making a banana bread. <laughs> There's not a lot more to say than that. I'm going to put my headphones on, listen to um, probably a podcast. I might go Peter Crouch again. That's my go-to at the moment. So I'll do that. And uh, yeah, at the end of it, hopefully, we'll have a banana bread. And uh, I'm using cinnamon in this one. The recipe that I found had cinnamon in it, which I think is I think it's quite unusual for banana bread. I've never used cinnamon in one before, but let's give it a go. See what it tastes like. So there we go. Gonna do the classic test of putting the stick in. I haven't got a toothpick, so I'm just using an old chopstick. Is it clean? Yes, it is. I normally burn them. I think it's the first time that I've done a banana bread and it hasn't been a disaster. But it looks quite good. It says you need to let it cool overnight, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might just let it cool for a few hours. Um, and I also had enough mixture left over <laughs> to make these two little banana cupcakes so maybe we'll have these today and then the banana bread tomorrow but yeah quite happy with that i think that's a pretty pretty decent effort that is one thing to come out of this lockdown actually or the, you know the covid era i've learned how to make a banana bread i've never made one before covid was a thing so i've learned that you know there's if you're looking for pluses in this season that's one we've all learned how to make banana breads Sort of, I'm just about just having the uh, we're having a little tea and cupcake break, sort of stuck to the paper a little bit on the bottom. Look, see that? Mm. But these weren't the main attraction anyway, but they were just the leftover 
mixture that I had. Let's give them a try. Mmm, not bad though. Mm. Good flavour. I'm excited for the actual banana bread. This was a side attraction and even this tastes good so there you go. Easiest thing to make because it's all stuff that you will have. Like everybody's got a few gone off bananas haven't they? Mm. You know and then all you need really is flour, butter, don't even need sugar. Didn't put any sugar in this, a little bit of cinnamon. Easy, easy. So I'm gonna have my little cupcake, have a tea break, winding down the days until the 21st of June. There's so many memes doing the rounds today. Oh, yeah. Of um, like pub memes, mm. you know, cause everyone's gonna be able to go to the pub again. Mm. There was, <laughs> see if I can find it, hold on. There was one that really made me laugh. I've been really big into during COVID, I'm really big into all the memes. Always on my Instagram, I'm always sharing, there it is. It says, since we now have a date, pubs are going to reopen, here is a map of every pub in the UK. And the, the map is just that. <laughs> they pinned all the pubs, if you can see it. Can you see it? There you go. There's stuff like that. Just There's loads of that sort of stuff doing the rounds. This was my favourite. I, I sent this on there family whatsapp yesterday. I'll wait for it to focus. It says me on June 21st. I do like that sort of thing, it just makes me laugh. You've got to find a bit of light relief in these times, haven't you? This banana recipe was not the Mary Berry one that we normally use, so... I think it's there. Yeah, I think it is. This was, I think this was BBC Good Food. Oh no, actually it wasn't. I'll tell you what it was now. This was Sally's Baking Addiction dot com. Oh, I think that is a good one. Never heard of it, but it's quite nice. I'll link the recipe down below if you want to try it. How many bananas went in there? Three large bananas. Mm. It said four on the recipe. You should have got rid of them. Yeah, but it said four medium bananas and ours were big ones. So I used the, um, I just used three. So yeah, we have still got two left over. <laughs> I could probably make another banana bread. Let me show you this as well. We've updated this area which is the sort of tea and coffee station, that's what I call it. Um, and we got a few extra bits in. Uh, this is obviously the kettle that we that we used, that was actually a wedding present. Um, and then this is the velvetizer, the Hotel Chocolat velvetizer that I got Joe for Christmas. Uh, it makes really good hot chocolates, uh, but you need to have the sachets. We've only got one left there, you can see. Uh, that is, yeah, that's from Hotel Chocolat, but that's something that we use eh, semi-regularly, but it looks good, so we leave it out. And this thing, we actually bought this from Sainsbury's, um, I think it was, yeah, last week. And it's just a nice little area to leave all of the, uh, all the drinks, because we didn't really have a place for any of this stuff. Jo likes her fruit teas, and so we've got a selection of fruit teas here. And we've got this one here, which is like a red berry tea that she is drinking a lot of at the moment. This um, jar, we normally fill that up with... Uh, like coffee that goes in here, which is called a cafetiere. Uh, so that's the coffee for the cafetiere. We don't use it that often, that's why I can never remember what it's called. Um, but that's for when we fancy like a, you know, a posh coffee or we're both drinking coffee. We might do one in there. Uh, so that's where the coffee goes for that. Then we've got chai latte mixture down here. Marshmallows for hot chocolates. Um, and then this thing used to have uh, salt in it, but we didn't use it very often for that. So we have filled it with uh, like the cocoa powder so that we can put on top of our hot chocolates to like dust it off. Then we put the Hotel Chocolat sachets here, which we don't actually have very many of those at the moment, which is kind of annoying. And then up here, we uh, have the tea, the coffee and the sugar in these matching jars. I forget where they're from, but I'll ask Joe and I'll link it down below for you. And then we got them on this tray here because I'm always using this window ledge uh, to do to put like a tripod, uh, so I can just move that out of the way easily. Then that's our our little kitchen. Oh, and we got this, which is where we write the meals for the week. That's about two weeks old. That I need to scrub it off and write some fresh ones on. We actually bought a second one of those things as well to go over here because we're always using onions. I feel like, you know, onions go well in anything. I put them in toasties and any sort of meal you cook, you can chuck an onion in and it sort of works. 
So we've got some onions here and we have them out. Uh, red onions on the bottom and the white onions on the top. And we also keep there some garlic in there as well. So that all goes there. Just easy, handy next to the spices, next to the eggs. Lots of people have these egg houses, but we just put them in the little basket so they're easily accessible. Um, and they're right next to the hob. And the fruit is actually over this side. Somebody did ask me actually a little while back, was this a cake stand that we keep our fruit on? And the answer is yes, it is. <laughs> so the fruit goes on there. We have it on there because it means that we eat fruit instead of cake, in theory, although right next to the fruit stand is a cake. <laughs> so <laughs> that doesn't really work. It's getting a little later, as you can probably see from the light on my face, it's getting darker now. Uh, so I'm gonna start to wind down for the day, bit of editing. Joe is teaching violin in the other room, so I'm gonna do some video editing before cooking dinner, and then we'll probably relax and watch Better Call Saul later. That's our TV show of choice at the moment. It's kind of the sequel to Breaking Bad about the uh, lawyer, Saul Goodman. Uh, so we're gonna be watching that uh, this evening. However, to coin my friend Liam's catchphrase, ciao for now. Morning, everyone. It's the next day now. Um, I have moved on from yesterday to today. Um, <laughs> I've got myself an orange juice this morning instead of a coffee. Thought I'd go for something a little little fresher, you know? I, I went shopping yesterday, I did the click and collect, and I haven't had orange juice in ages, but I saw it there and I was like, yeah, I need that. I really fancy a nice glass of orange juice. So that's the story as to why I'm holding an orange juice this morning instead of a coffee. Hope you enjoyed it. So what have I got planned for today? Uh, it's Wednesday today, lots of YouTube -y bits to do today. Um, weirdly, I never normally do this, but the video you're watching right now, I'm actually filming today. So you're watching this on Wednesday, the, I don't know what the date is. What's the date? It's Wednesday the 24th of February. 24th of February. You're watching this on Wednesday the 24th of February, and that is the day the video is being released. So you're watching this today, if that makes sense. Uh, so that's, that's kind of cool. Normally I do the videos in advance and kind of schedule them to go out. Uh, but this one, I always plan to do a vlog today and uh, I just haven't got around to finishing filming it until now. So um, that's why that's being done like that. So yeah, a little bit of behind the scenes. Normally the vlogs are filmed way in advance. Like I've, I've got some videos ready to go out next week and they're Easter videos and they're like Easter baking. So baking uh, recipes for Easter. So keep an eye out for those videos as well because uh, there's some really tasty Easter treats in there for you to, to be baking. Um, but those, I filmed those at the end of January, start of February, because I like to get ahead with the videos, like to get in advance so that I'm not chasing my tail. Um, and also there's some weeks where I just can't, I haven't got the time to film because I'm writing essays or whatever. Uh, so I like to get ahead so that I've got a bit of leeway for that stuff as well, because I am doing a degree alongside this. Uh, my theology degree and I certainly don't want my grades to suffer so I always make sure that there's plenty of space for me to do essays and research and stuff um, for that because yeah that's that's my focus right now YouTube is amazing but I have to say that the priority for me right now is getting a good grade on the degree YouTube is also a massive focus for me and the channel is growing and I'm really grateful for that uh, because you never know like where these things are gonna end up um, you know, and I've always enjoyed making little videos and films and stuff. So this is like a passion project for me, if you like. It's something that I really enjoy. Um, and yeah, like I say, like you don't know, you might end up being really successful with it and that, that would be great. But also doing it at this level now where I am, I enjoy that too. So it's win-win really for me. Like if it doesn't succeed and I don't kind of go on to bigger things with it, that's fine because I'm enjoying it anyway because I'm not doing bigger things now, I'm just making these videos. So either way, I'm happy. If it goes successful and I have bigger things from it, great, but we'll see, we'll see. And you know, the, the great part is that I get to interact with so many different types of people doing this as well. And people are interested, you know, when I uh, see people that I haven't seen in a long time, you know, you they're saying, oh, I saw your video the other day on this. And it's nice because it's I'm able to keep people informed as to what we're up to. And that was why, I started this channel in the first place because lots of family friends, you know, me and Joe don't live near our families. And so it was a nice way for me to show people what we were up to. And that really was why 
you know, that was one of the main reasons to start the channel in the first place. So it's nice that people are still watching for that reason, you know, friends and family and stuff are watching to see what we're up to because we can't see them every day and particularly during a pandemic, you know, <laughs> you can't see people at all during a pandemic. So it's been a nice way to keep people posted on, on how myself and, and Joe are both doing, so. Oh, that was the door. Postman was here. Looks like I've been sent something. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Little scented candle from Gold Wires. Beautiful candle company. Oh, that is a good one. That smells like um, peppermints. Peppermint, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon high in essential oils. Thank you very much, Gold Boys. Appreciate that. This candle is going to be part of a video that I'm doing uh, real soon, which is going to be a review of some of the best scented candles out there that are like handmade and uh, local to the UK, well, UK based, I guess you would say. Uh, so really looking forward to that video. That's coming up really, really soon. I'm just waiting for a few more to come in and then we will uh, do a review and this is going to be part of it. And Oh, that is good. That is like, if you can think of, I won't, I, do you know what, I don't want to review it now because I want to save it for the video, but if you can think of like the perfect peppermint smell, that is this candle. Anyway, I'm going to finish my orange juice. We're going to crack on with our day. Uh, I'll film a little bit more of today and show you the different things I get up to, but then I need to edit this video and get it up because you, you need to be watching this by tonight. So uh, yeah, let's, let's crack on with our day once I've, here we go. Yes, now I'm ready. Banana bread is cut, ready to have a little mid-morning snack. I don't really have very much for breakfast this morning, so I figured a bit of banana bread would go down well. The washing is on. Uh, I'm getting some editing done right now. I'm actually editing the video that you're watching, <laughs> which is, uh, is quite funny. Uh, but yeah, I uh, thought I'd have a bit of this banana bread from yesterday. I must admit, when I took the cellophane off, because I had a little bit last night, and it is amazing, I took the wrapping off this morning to you know, wrapped it all up to keep it fresh. And the smell of the banana bread like hit me in the face. So this is one of the, I no, I'd say this is the best banana bread I think I've ever made. And the secret ingredient, Greek yogurt. Didn't expect that to work, but it did. This banana bread honestly smells fresh. It's like moist. It's dense. It's oh, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna have a little try of it for you now. Oh, it's the best banana bread I've ever made, definitely, hands down. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there for this video because I need to get the footage you're watching uploaded <laughs> as soon as possible. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate your subscribing and the support that you give and the lovely comments that I get. Thank you so much for that. It is really, really genuinely appreciated. Uh, please do subscribe if you haven't already down below. The link is there. Um, and yeah, thank you for being on this journey with me. I'll see you really, really soon for another video. Uh, what day are we today? Wednesday. There's another one coming on Friday. I generally upload Wednesdays and Fridays now. Uh, that varies sometimes, but most of the time it's a Wednesday and a Friday. So keep an eye out for new videos coming your way soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.